All right, here we are, Coach, last day of uh, state championships. Um, tell me about how Sullivan's been doing. Well, we've been on a on an upward move for the last mm -hmm. few years. We've, we've qualified 10 this year. That's oh, the most wow. we've ever qualified uh, for Class 2 in you know, our district. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, over the last four years is when we've seen the, the most growth, the most improvement. So, yeah. you know, we didn't maybe end up where we hoped we would at the state tournament, but we we came out came out good. You sound like every uh, wrestling coach there. You know, everybody always you, you want you want it all. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I tell the kids, you know, sometimes I'm happy, but I'm hardly ever satisfied. So there we and, go. And that's kind of where we're at this year. Had a couple of medalists. Had the most we've ever had. Back for the second day. Congratulations. Into the so it was it was a good tournament for us. Maybe it just left us a little in want of, of some more. Maybe yeah. next year. You know? So what do you attribute the growth? You know, why is this success coming more and more? Um, a lot of it has to do with competition and scheduling and things like that, making sure we see who we need to see so yeah. the guys don't get shell-shocked when they come in here, you know, and they've seen this caliber of wrestling. We do a lot of off-season work and some, quite a few camps and got a, got a good solid group of guys that hang together through thick and thin all year long. You know, sure. they play football together and they wrestle together and so, so on. You brought up the shell shock. You know, you come to this tournament, some people catch fire, some people crumble. How do you prepare them? I mean, can you even prepare it until they feel it? It's really tough, you know, for the guys that have been here the first time. We do some visualization exercises with it. We try to go to a couple of big tournaments so they get the feel for what it's like to have to go multiple days and 16-man brackets and things like that are even bigger. Um, that's about the best you can do, you know. When you come in here and you got to stand in the tunnel with the guys and you got to wait, you get cooled down after you've warmed up, you know, that's just, you can't replicate that experience, I don't think, in yeah. a practice room. So let me ask you this. I saw you just walking down the tunnel. Obviously, one of your guys, he's all state. He's had a he's had a good tournament, but clearly he's upset. Um, so I'm guessing he just took a loss to end his season. But for you as a coach, how do you how do you explain your like emotions when you're in the tunnel with your guy before a match or someone gets a big win or a, or a tough loss? What's it? How's it affect you? Well, I think every coach is, is probably the same. We wrestle every match with every kid that's out there. You know, if, if they lose, we lose. If they win, we win. You know, so those emotions flow hard. Sometimes we have to keep them in check, you know. Yeah. I may want to go in the corner and cry sometimes yeah, too, yeah. but, you know, we got to teach them to, to be men along the way too and accept that, that loss and see what we can learn from it and keep our head high. And I mean, we earned our way to get here, you know, so every kid deserves to their shot. He got his. He's all state, like you said. Yeah. You awesome. know, so good stuff. So tell me, what uh, what's something that you have learned recently as a coach? You know, your your team's growing and you're growing as a coach. What's one of the newer ideas or anything about wrestling that that you learn on that you've learned recently? Well, I don't know as much as learn, but you know, you continue to try to enhance what it is you teach and, and to try to bring that intensity level higher and higher so you're peaking at the right time. You know, so I try to learn from these guys around here that have been doing it a long, long time, uh -huh. get some of their wisdom about how they deal with their guys and how to keep them relaxed when they need to be relaxed and pump when they need to pump, you know, kind of thing and just, just peak it at the right time. You know, the things ebb and flow. What was, what was hot, you know, five years ago for moves and things like that, it flows out and it comes yeah. back to some old school stuff, you know, so you just try to keep on top of that, I think, too. Nice. Oh, what was my next question? My next question was, well, I'll throw another one in there first. How's the, the community, the Sullivan community, do they support the wrestling program? They've really come a long way in supporting us. Whenever I first got there eight years ago, wrestling was basically a non-existent, almost a weaker sister. We had... We had, didn't have our own practice room, we didn't have facilities, we didn't have crowds in the stands. It was quiet when we had home duels, you know, and now things have picked up. Of course, success helps with that, you know, um, but just getting the word out and making sure we're in the paper and talking to the community. And people I don't even know stop me now and want to know how the team is That's awesome. Doing. I really so, appreciate So they're behind that. us. Our administration supports us 100%. They let us go where we need to go to get the matches we need to get, you know. So, yes, they're behind us completely and it's it's great it helps a yeah. lot you know dang that's great to hear i love to hear a, a story like that um why why have you chosen to put your energy into wrestling you know it's not it's not a, a really a part-time thing you know, <laughs> you're not home with your family right now right. and you're not probably for a lot of dinners it takes a lot to be a successful coach why why do you like to do it well, you know, I, I wrestled as a kid through high school and college, and uh, just the things that it did for me, I want to help 
uh, pass that on to you know my own children. We're wrestlers, uh, our wrestlers, and uh, you know the guys that are around me. I think that life's lessons are learned on the mat. It's stuff that, that they'll use their whole life. Um, not that every sport isn't that way, but I think wrestling teaches you how to grit through mm -hmm. tough times. You're going to be wrestling with your bills when you get older. You're going to be wrestling with, you know, whatever's coming up is, uh -huh. is a challenge in front of you, just like a wrestling match. So, what do you hope? Uh, so, senior leaves your program. What do you hope that he takes with him? I hope that he, that he takes, you know, the passion to battle through whatever struggles he has, the, that he learns how to set some goals and, and the process to chase those goals and what it takes to, to finally meet them, you know, turn those dreams into goals and then eventually a reality for them. If they can do that, I think, day to day and throughout their life, then, then I feel like I've been successful in doing my job, honestly. Awesome. Matt, I really appreciate it. Thanks for putting uh, your effort into wrestling these kids and these kids. Thank you got anything you. else to share? Hey, it's great. Everybody ought to wrestle.